Hi guys, my name is Jean from JC Custom Fabrications. I'm a vehicle bodybuilder by trade and I'm going to show you guys how I build my e suspension boot setup. Since today is a public holiday, so I decided to work from home and I'm going to show you guys the tools and the parts that I have uh, to do the boot setup. Okay, so this is your uh, air solenoids. This is a quarter inch air solenoid. Uh, so you need to have four or you can have eight. So the solenoids, this is what you use to uh, lift up your car. This is what supplies the air to the airbags. This is a, a single gauge that I bought from Amazon. Uh, that is going to be used to uh, check how much air is in your tank. And this is some of the fittings I have for the air suspension for the uh, boot setup. But I will give more details as I'm uh, putting everything together. But this is just some of the fittings that I have. This is my pipe bender. Pipe bender. And this is my pipe cutter that I'm going to be using also to cut the pipes. And that is my tank that I got from a compressor and that is my pipe over here that I'll be using in the video and this is a piece of board that I'll just line up the tank while I'm bending the pipes okay so once you have your tools ready we're gonna start off with the tank um, as you can see this tank I got from a compressor, an old compressor of mine so I just uh, took the tank off, uh, welded these brackets and um, it's already got this port here on this side and this one on this side and yeah and another port on this side so I'm gonna mount the tank just on a piece of board so I can work properly uh, while I'm bending the pipes. Next, I'm gonna clean this um, two pots, one on this side here and the other one on this side here. I just want I just want to clean it so I can put the, uh, the fittings in there so I'm going to be using this small grinder this is what I'm going to be using it's got the, uh, most of the cleaning stuff here and repair kits so I'm going to take this Throw that in. As you can see, I buy all my tools from uh, Ardendorf. Just gonna clean inside here quickly. So just the speed. Just clean the thread out so the new fittings can go in nicely. Same on the other side. Okay, that is done. So next, I got these two fittings. As you saw earlier on, I was cleaning up the two holes. So this fittings is gonna go uh, onto the two pots. Okay, so this is the fitting. We're gonna screw it in here. So this is just uh, screwing it in here. We're gonna have to take it out on some other stage. We just wanna bend the pipes. Then it's gonna come out and we can put the thread tip and then screw it in permanently now. 
Okay, so this one goes here, and the other one on the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna get my pipe bender. This is how it looks like. You can bend up to uh, 180 degrees. So this is what I use to bend my pipes. Also got this from Adendorf. Um, nice brand tools. That's the job. And my pipe cutter. So this is how my pipe cutter looks. This is a copper pipe, 3/8 size. So I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna open this up, cut the piece out so I can start bending the pipes. I'm just gonna unfold it straight. Unfold it nicely that the pipe don't kink. Okay, so um, I'm gonna cut off a piece, say right here. So this is how the pipe cutter works. Open it, so there's an opening and closing. I'm gonna put the okay, so I'm gonna tend that closer to the pipe, and then you just turn it around, and then you just turn it more again, a little bit tighter, a few turns, and you just turn it again a little bit more. It cuts into the pipe. Okay, and there your pipe is. Uh... And now that we got the pipe ready, uh, we're gonna get the solenoids, position the solenoids, and then we can start bending the pipe. So now we can get the solenoids, and then we're gonna position the solenoids according to how we want the pipes to be bended. So I'll put the one solenoid here and the other one right next to this one so I'm gonna do a 90 bend here going down and coming into the solenoid here okay so I'm gonna put the spike in here just to get the proper measurement I'll take my pencil and I'll just mark over here Okay, now I'm gonna put it into here. As you can see, the mark that I made is here. So I'm gonna try and bring it as close as inside. I hope you can see that. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn this down. And bring it 90. Okay. And it shows you on this side because it's got numbers. So you got uh, zero, then you got 45 degrees, and you got 90, and you got uh, 135 and 180. So I did a 90 degrees. So I'm gonna take the pipe out. Put that down. Then I'll take measurement from here to the bottom and then I'll do another 90. guys just one more tip um, you might need to get uh, a little bit more material than your measurements because just in case you don't get the right uh, bends or the measurements that you wanted 
because once you bend the pipe you cannot bend it straight again so you're gonna have to cut another pipe and do it over again but I did my two bends as you can see one for the left and one for the right that's how it looks and that's the other one for the other side okay so we're gonna start the assembling now okay so I'm gonna take this fitting out now I'm gonna uh, put the inset into the pipe and we're gonna show you how to fit the insets in okay so that goes over there okay so this is how the olives look that goes inside okay, so you get one and put it in there okay then I take the fitting that's supposed to go onto that port there and screw there so I just turn it in there okay this so I'm gonna get my size 22 spine keep that fitting like this You can also put it on a vise um, and I'm gonna use my 16 spanner over that and I'm just gonna turn this so as I'm turning this nut over here that olive inside is getting tight and keeping the pipe expanding and keeping or shrinking and keeping the pipe inside a few turns Okay, then I'm gonna make it loose again just to show you how the inset is in the inside. Okay, so as you can see, the inset is shrink inside. So that this will seal the pipe from air leaks in the inside. Once you put that in, so that will seal the air leak when you tighten this. There we go. And we're gonna do the same on this side, but with the fitting that is coming from the solenoid. So I'm gonna screw that out from one solenoid. And we're gonna do the same. Okay, so this is how your end result will look. So, like that. Okay, and we're gonna do the other one also. I'll put this one over here. And get the other one. Okay, so I mounted this a pipe that we did bend earlier on. As you can see it's mounted on there and on the solenoid here and so we're going to move to the next step now where we connect this solenoid to that solenoid and put a, a, a part there that is going to supply air to the air to the solenoids so that two will go to the airbags and this two will go to the solenoids okay so i got this piece of pipe here I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two 90 bends from here coming up and the one side from here going up so that two 90 bends is gonna fit into this so that uh, fitting will sit there and the nine 190 bend will come in from here coming into here and the other one from the other solenoid going up okay so I'm gonna bend that pipe strictly and then we can fit that on Okay, now we're gonna try and assemble the two 90 bends that we made earlier on. We fitted the olives and the fittings on the side. There's the other one. Okay, now we're gonna try and assemble the two 90s onto the solenoids. 
on goes the other one goes here and then we're gonna put those fittings onto here Once that is on, then we can screw it on to the to do brackets for the solenoids because this is just like a pre-fit test to see if everything lines up perfect okay so that's this side okay so this side is fitted on and just gonna put these two fittings on this side and the other one this side so you get your air from here your air supply from the tank it comes through the first solenoid when the first solenoid opens it comes through this section here now this section there is four ports onto this so you connect your two airbags so the left side the left side airbag, the right side airbag on this and so as soon as air comes in and the solenoid opens then the air comes straight into the two airbags, supplies the two airbags drop the car with the air that is in the two airbags you just press the button, the drop button and that solenoid on this side will open and the air that is in the two airbags will escape ok the final step we are gonna do now is as you can see this side is done so I already did this uh, bend for, for, the, uh, for the pressure tank gauge This gauge shows you how much air is into the tank So this is the gauge that I'm going to display somewhere here So remember this is a boot setup so we try and make it look nice Put things, put the tank, put the gauge on top here so you can actually see when you open up your boot and see how much air you got in your tank Okay, so this pipe I already did paint and fit the olives on. So I'm just gonna fit it on to the tank. Goes over there. Okay. I'm gonna screw that over there. So this is your port where, where your com compressor connects into. So the air comes from the compressor into the spot, into the tank, and this is the port for the gauge. So this is when you open your boot and you just want to see how much air is in your tank. Okay guys, so that's it for today. Um, the solenoid setup is done. So in the next video I will be showing you how I build the, the tank, the stand for the tank, where the tank will be uh, mounted on and that goes into the boot. Watch out for my next video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.